You watched my video about Linux, about the dark truth behind Linux, right? And you were like, this guy is absolutely stupid. Like, those are pros of Linux. Why does he tell that Linux is bad? Less virus is like, this is the best thing, right? So immediately after my video that you have, again, you have watched. Right, so I'm gonna tell you how I use Linux with my like, the window manager when I have everything set up. I understand how everything works and how you can do it too. So now I do this little default OBS transition from scenes. You can see that this is how my window manager looks like, okay? It's like a normal desktop environment. You got wallpaper, you got some panel, <coughs> you got some buttons. Simple. But this is styling window manager. And if you learn to use those properly, you're gonna be so much faster, okay? I open a window, it opens here. When I open more, it automatically resizes them so that they take up like the best amount of space. Okay, I can make one of them floating if I want. But they just appear like this and you can use them much more efficiently. That's the good thing about this. I can still open normal windows like you do. I can open Firefox. Hmm. Get, get one, one person please subscribe, that would be really nice. I had to configure all of this, okay? It's not that simple. And you might not like this window manager at first, because it's kinda like difficult to configure. This looks kinda like... What is this? What is happening in here? Why are there those errors? I don't even know why there are those errors. Like, this is the problem of the LSP. But you can start with something much more simple, like i3. Okay, here it's really easy. You got it running from the start, you got the title bars, you got the panel that looks stable, but you can configure it pretty easily. And you just set key bindings that you want. So it's really simple to set this up. And then you can change your window manager. And now, you're gonna probably say something like, I have no time for this. How can you configure this and not lose hours of time? Well, honestly, I kinda did. That's the first thing. And secondly, if you don't have time, then why are you even watching this video? But yeah, after you set this up, it saves you like so much time. You can, you're gonna be so much faster at everything, especially when you learn Terminal 2. Like, I open Terminal, I edit a file in it. You have to set everything up, okay? But the really only thing you set up is how it looks. Without that, you can spend zero time setting this up. Okay, especially like when you learn terminal, you can do so much stuff in here and it's just so much faster to do all that stuff from the terminal. Now I'm gonna tell you one last tip and that's to open up a VM, learn how to do virtual machines and then try installing something like Arch Linux. That's a Linux distribution, but unlike something like you've installed, which was probably Ubuntu or Linux Mint or something. You have a full screen terminal like this and you gotta type commands to install everything. You will learn so much from that after you learn.